Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be working back on the 135. We're gonna be seeing um, what that noise was on the on the drive out after we did the M3 swap. So first things first, we're gonna jack up the car and I'm gonna put the jack stands right on the control arms. That way the wheels are not hanging down and they actually pressed up and hopefully being up like that, it, it might give us the noise, it might not, but we can take a look under there, see if we see anything rubbing. Or it could be an axle. Um, the other thing I was thinking is maybe, I did end up putting the heat shield right where the dry shaft and uh, exhaust goes through, so maybe it is the dry shaft hitting the heat shield, but it sounded a little loud and kind of clunky, so I doubt that's what it is, but you never know. So let's uh, get the car up in uh, jack stands and uh, let's go see what's going on. All right, so the car is jacked up and I put the jack stands right on the control arms, as you can see, so that way the wheels are loaded. Now, it is a little bit higher than usual, but at least they're not hanging down. So let's get the car started. We'll put it in gear and kind of see if uh, we hear anything or we can see anything. And I was thinking what to do. Just fucking so ride a pussy. <laughs> so I don't have to take out the dip. So I'm thinking um, let's take the heat shield out and once we drop it, see if maybe the dry shaft is hitting that. And if that's not the case, if it's not the heat shield, next thing I'm just gonna take the passenger side axle and drive it like that. And from there. If that's not it, then I guess we'll just take the whole diff out. So let's get the heat shield out first and test drive it, all right? All right, so the heat shield's off and we're just gonna take it around the block. All right, chances of this working is uh, slim to none. Why are we doing it? Just hey, to you see. never know, it's the easiest way. Yeah. And then after it'll be the axle. Oh shit, what is that? What does that sound? Still there. The rattling, right? Yeah, look. Oh no, that's not good. Just bring it where's back. Where's the sound? Where, where's the sound coming from? It's like right here. How do you... I don't think I can hear it from the outside. I think it's like it's not here. So, but it sounds like it's this side, right? Not this side. All right, do it, do it again. All right, let me turn around. Well, that right there, I think, is the heat shield. Okay.
So the axle's out. Um, here, actually, let me show you. So I have the M3 axle here, the stock 135 axle here. Now, I was going to drive the car without the axle, but I called my buddy, that he's a mechanic, and he said, do not drive it because the axle with the nut actually holds a wheel bearing. So good thing I called him because I was about to drive it to see if it was making that noise. So I'm not really sure if this is what's causing the problem, but let me show you what I mean. So if you see the M3 axle, it like, it moves super easy. And the 135 axle, if you try to move it, it barely moves, right? It's pretty tough to move. So, I'm not really sure if that's what's causing the problem. When I'm driving it, you can, to me, it sounds like it's a passenger size. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a new axle, put it on, and then I'll drive it. Now, if that's not the case, then we're just gonna have to take out the diff and all the axles and return everything. Yeah, we'll just, uh, sorry it was a short video and we didn't get it resolved, but I promise you next video, the car will be fixed. If I can't fix it, I'm bringing it to a shop, but the car will be fixed and we should be in the track soon. So hold tight and we'll see you next, all right?